<sighs> that was an extremely long night. Ah, well, let's get some breakfast. Ah. Mr. Chickles, are you down here? Well, he must be down in the construction site, that's for sure. Let's get ourselves some food. Hmm, ah, delicious. Oh, oh, oh my, my stomach. Oh, oh, I need to hurry. Oh, hey, Mr. Jiggles, don't watch. Way, way better. Oh. That that was a big load. Oh. <sighs> well, <sighs> that is just amazing. <sighs> like a gentleman. Yes. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's me T, your host, and you're watching another Minecraft tutorial. So, let me turn around and show you the device I've got right here in front of me, and I'm just gonna call it the pooping machine. So, are you ready? Because I'm gonna show you how it works. So, for example, you've got some item that you do not want because it is ridiculous, it stinks, it's not anything I want. So what you do, you just throw it into the cauldron over here with the nice water effect. You close it off or you keep it on and then it will be exchanged. It flushes as well and then your items are gone. And most of your items will now be left inside the dropper over here. But if it stacks up, then the item hopper will detect the signal and this thing will go cycling around and your drops will fall out into the void. So you don't have to worry about them anymore. So, um, don't worry if you throw in anything that you still want to keep because it stacks up for some time and you can pick it up afterwards again. So it gives you a little buffer so your items are only being dispensed once. You are definitely sure you don't want them anymore. So. That's how the little thing works, let's get on with the tutorial. And now it's time for the tutorial. Let me just turn around for you and have a look at this thing over here. Okay, so first of all you want to place down two cauldrons underneath each other. One is going to be empty and the top one is going to be full with water. So next up we're gonna place a trapdoor on top. Make sure it opens to the, uh, the, right uh, the right direction or it won't work as you might want it to. So next up we're gonna place a sticky piston right behind the first cauldron, like so. And also we're gonna place one right underneath this cauldron over here. So we will be left with something like this. Next up we're gonna place another sticky piston right next to the previous sticky piston that we placed like you can see in this picture over here. So one facing down with right next to it the other piston right over there. We're gonna place a block right next to it and you'll see this piston extend. Well next up we're going down. Not just one but three blocks. We're gonna make it right like this and we place some redstone dust on top of it. Now we only have to place one more block over here with a button and you will see that it flushes already so now we've got the first part of our little um, pooping station done. So next up we're going over to the underneath of where the cauldron will be retracted and we're gonna place a dropper right over here. So remove that one and this is where you will have your dropper. Make it face down or face away from your device and it will be ready, set and done. So two hoppers facing into each other and then into the dropper over here. Now the items will be collected by the hopper and go into your dropper and that's most of it already done. 
Okay, so next up is the little redstone clock and we're gonna place a couple of blocks in a little pattern which I'm going to show to you right here. So we're gonna have one block down, one block up, one block down, one block up right next to it and two more blocks down. Okay, so we're gonna place a repeater on that spot over there, some dust and some more dust over here as well as a redstone comparator on this spot over here and make sure that it is inverted. Now the only thing left to do is place in a couple of more blocks so that no one will see the redstone behind it and this is your entire pooping station done. So now that your pooping station is done you can poop as much as you want. Don't worry it will handle the blast. So, I really hope you liked it, I really hope you did, and if you did, be sure to follow up the experience next time, because guys, I'm signing out. See you in the next one, bye bye.